Hey, how you doing? It's Alan from Vancouver, Canada. Just wanted to stop by and visit with you today to talk about my good friend, Mr. Prinell Prasad. And you see, Prinell's kind of cool in the sense that I've known Prinell for a really, really long time. And I've had a chance to watch Prinell grow over the past, oh geez, it's been about at least 13 years that I've known the guy. And the reason why I'm talking about him with you today is because if you're watching this video, and chances are that so you're probably doing a little bit of research on looking for a business mentor, a business coach, somebody to help you get from where you are to where you want to be. And one of the most common questions that most people tend to ask me, at least, is, well, you know, who can I follow? Who can I trust? Who can I look up to to help me get to that next stage in my career? Well, Purnell is a really cool individual in the sense that he's somebody that you really want to consider following and getting mentorship from simply because he's not one of those guys that was born with the silver spoon in his mouth per se. You know, Purnell has had every challenge that you could ever possibly think of, every personal challenge, every emotional challenge, every financial challenge, every type of problem that most people would use as a reason to quit. Purnell, over a long period of time, has actually had the chance to transform himself from that victim mentality of I can't do much, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to do it, you know, I'm not good enough, not smart enough, I'm not anything enough, to a point where he's now realizing that everything he is is more than enough to help him grow and to succeed. And it's huge for you because one of the things that I've noticed in terms of mentoring or coaching is that sometimes a student will look at a coach or look at their mentor and say, you know, you are just way too good, or you had this really incredible start, or you had this really incredible advantage that I don't have. So there's no way, you know, even though you're a millionaire, there's no way I can follow you because there, I just didn't have what it is that you had to get yourself going. Well, the cool thing is that when you look at Purnell and you look at his life, Purnell is a real idealistic person of somebody who had, you know, probably a lot of things going for him but wasn't the kind of person who realized what all those things were at the time. And so, as a lot of people would say, if you're not ready for the opportunity, the opportunity passes you by. And that happened to Purnell on so many occasions. Yet, with every reason to quit, with every reason not to move forward, with every reason not to do better for himself, for his family, for his future, for their future, he's made the conscious decision that nothing is going to get in his way that you could take all of his money, you could take all of his stuff, you can leave him with even not with not even the shirt on his back. And if you dropped him bare naked in the middle of any big city, Purnell is the kind of guy, in my opinion, who would find every reasonable method and way to get himself back up, get everything back that he lost, and probably earn ten, twice as much more than uh, what he began with had he been stripped of everything that he owned. So a good question for you as you're listening to this is to ask yourself, if I'm going to follow somebody, if somebody is going to be my mentor, A, would I want to follow someone who had everything going for him, or B, would I want to follow somebody who had everything working against him, and yet still had the ability to find solutions to get to that next stage in his life? You know, would you want to follow somebody who lived the perfect, picture-perfect lifestyle, where they always had money and they always had you know, friends and they always had good coaches and they always had good information? Or would you want to follow the underdog? Somebody who had to struggle. Someone who had countless rejections, countless no's, countless problems, countless, you know, what seemed to be at the time hopeless experiences where they would look at their, themselves and think, oh my God, I'm so stuck, what can I do? Yet despite all of their challenges, still continues to find a way to break through their problems and find new solutions. And if there isn't a solution to be found, that they're the type of person to get out there and make one. And you gotta ask yourself, who inspires you more? Who can you follow better? Who gives you a better chance at winning? Who can give you better tools at getting your to your level of success, essentially? And who is it really, between those two examples, that can give you a clearer and a stronger road path to helping you get from where you are to where you want to be. In my opinion, Purnell is a really good guy and a great prospect in terms of leadership and coaching. So if you're looking for somebody to follow, 
take a few minutes, take my advice, and really take a look at what Pranell has to offer. Because in my opinion, he's a rare individual who can really take you by the hand and really show you what it's going to take in order to get to that next phase in your business. And I really believe that with Pranell's help, there's no telling how far you can get in your life and your career. And don't be surprised if you're able to get there in half the time because Pranell's willing to help you the way he would be if you had him by your side.